7 News State House Watch. The start of the 2020 legislative session, it is just around the corner, but our George Reed Godfrey has been reviewing some of the bills that have already been introduced. Yeah, she tells us about one that would impact most of South Carolina's women. 96 bills were pre-filed last week for the 2020 legislative session, including a bill filed by a low country lawmaker to exempt female hygiene products from sales tax. It's called the pink tax, but it's not a tax at all. It's actually a sales tax exemption filed by low country representative Crystal Matthews. I understand the struggle when it comes to being able to afford things, especially necessities that you need. And for many women in South Carolina, those necessities are feminine hygiene products, which is why Representative Matthews filed the pink tax bill to exempt those products from sales tax. I think it makes sense. They're necessary products and um, seems like something that you can't help but buy and it only impacts women. The average cost of a pack of sanitary napkins or a box of tampons is between seven and $13, a recurring cost many women have to pay. Monthly, I would spend at least 20 to $40, depending on what products I was using. It's completely unfair for me to be taxed extra for something that naturally occurs in my body. Every month, you'd have to buy it, so it seems like pennies add up. If the bill passes, it would go into effect on July 1st, 2020. In Columbia, Georgia Rigodfrey, 7 News. And according to the Department of Revenue, there are about 70 things already exempt from sales tax including things like lottery tickets. The Boeing CEO is 